Welcome to The Quiet Room Brought to you by the creator of Truth Well Told, Tarot Your space for relaxing music, meditation and sleep enhancement Join me on my new channel I'll leave all the details below The Quiet Room Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your next three months tarot reading for July to September 2024 for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So Pisces, I've taken your yearly 2024 tarot reading and pulled out the relevant cards. I'll link the yearly reading below in the description box. So for July, we have the King of Swords, could be your energy, could be somebody who you're connecting to, male or female in a general reading. The King of Intellect, Logic, Reason, Communication, Truth, Clarity, Forward Thinking. We have the Devil in August and we have the Ten of Wands in September. Two cards have already fallen out for you. We're going to pull additional cards for each month. I'll pull out any overarching messages as well as any individual ones because a lot can happen in one month, let alone three in different areas of our life. Eight of Pentacles. I always like the Eight of Pentacles energy. It's very productive. With the Page of Cups. And the Two of Wands. Let's see what we have with that Devil energy. Thank you. Two cards. I've got the magician here. Can understand why the moon is coming out. You've got three major arcana in this month. I like seeing the moon in your reading though. The moon is Pisces, you know, it's uh, the card of Pisces. It's your major arcana, it's also your planet. Highly intuitive, 12th house energy, the house of spirit. Knight of Wands. Two of Swords, Eight of Swords, Temperance, All right, Pisces, so the King of Swords energy, you know, you could well be here, Pisces, being very clear in terms of how you want to move forward in July. You might have some big plans for yourself. Um, and I think that there is a great assertive energy, you know, about this King of, of Swords energy. This is somebody who is... You're, you're full of ideas, you're full of, uh, of how you're moving forward in your future, you're full of what you want in your future, you're full of how you want your future to act. You know what you want, it's just about how you put the work in to get there and where you put your work and energy into. But there is a real kind of energy of, of being very productive. Now, this can be very positive in terms of educating yourself, uh, you know, you might be doing some a course or, you know, training in a particular area. You could well be learning a brand new skill. You could be doing professional qualifications. The Eight of Pentacles can also be linked with internships, apprenticeships. Um, I definitely see it can also be a card of hard work in money, career, finances, whether it's your own business or whether it's to do with, you know, you're working for somebody else. I think that you're very clear on what you want. It's just whether you're going to, for some of you, it's whether you're going to get what you want in your current circumstances. This is a thread that's coming to me, so I'm just going to stay with it and see what other how that pans out in the reading. Um, because Page of Cups, this feels like there is some message. This can be a message of support. 
well, if I were you, Pisces, I would do this. I mean, someone might be saying this to you. Um, there could well be a little a message of some kind coming in, and that gives you food for thought. It might make you rethink. Because there's a question here of you're, you work hard. You might have even um, been, you know, doing training and and getting professional qualifications. And especially if you work in an environment where you get a qualification, you're automatically entitled to a higher grade, more responsibility, uh, again, more pay, you know, a salary increase, you know, package, you know. There could well be an element of that for some of you as well. But this definitely feels like um, there's some kind of message either of support in terms of what you're working on or a message to say, well, you're doing all this work, you, you're reliable, you're a hard worker. You know, if you're not going to get where you want, where you are currently, then maybe it's about making some choices and decisions in how you do move forward. Because again, the two of ones is, is all about what next. Uh, it's, it's that sense here of, okay, I've, I've, I've got to where I am here. Now what next? And there's choices. Um, so this can be that sense here, Pisces, that you need to make some kind of choices in terms of how you're asserting yourself, how you're taking action, where your future lies, uh, how this vision unfolds for you. And this is what I'm seeing for you here quite strongly. And I just want to move. I see that translating here. I definitely see that that this is this theme translating into August. Because the magician and the devil, I don't like. I mean, I don't like this combination. This is like a, a master manipulator energy. The, the interesting thing is this energy is a very, very highly tuned, highly manipulative, but very capable machine, you know. But probably no match for this kind of energy. Because King of Swords is seeing truth. This person uh, or place can, can weave an illusion all they like, but I think that you're seeing through it. You might be seeing through someone's act. You might be seeing through someone's um, promises and conversations. They're going to be a really powerful communicator. They're, they're very persuasive. They're very powerful in terms of getting what they want. And I also want to say here, Pisces, when you're dealing with, this is a narcissistic energy, when you're dealing with this kind of person, you're never going to win. You're never going to feel like you're going to win. But by seeing the truth of a situation is how you, you know you can, you can overcome this kind of person or place or party, um, likely by removing yourself from its influence. You know, this would be the energy at play. This person... You see the truth of here, could be a boss or uh, a leader. It can also represent these energies might not be a, a person. I mean, they can be here. Um, but this is narcissistic energy. This is, um, this person knows how to get what they want. Um, and you feel that you're, you likely feel that you're never going to, get to where you want to be with this person because you always feel that they they always get what they want at the outcome you know they always land on their feet there is that sense this person is going to be a very popular person other people will love this person they likely won't believe you if you talk about the truth of this person except people who care about you and that's what i see here with that loving message so I definitely feel here, Pisces, that there's an opportunity here to where you're trusting your instinct because I think that you're doubting what this person's all about or this place or party. Um, I think that there's a level of you're getting a strong intuitive energy here combined with that mental acuity that you're applying here in terms of how you need to move forward. And I definitely see some kind of it looks like some opportunity coming in to depart. I see there is the potential of a departure come 
come August time for you, certainly on the business front, the Knight of Wands can be opportunity, opportunity arriving at the right time. And even though there's a level of uncertainty and you would be likely moving into the unknown in some way, and that can be quite scary, you're surrendering and trusting in terms of how you need to move forward here, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing for you. Because... The Knight of Wands energy, like I said, very positive in terms of change, exciting change, opportunity coming. It can represent departures by something arriving, you know, at the right time. And a lot of the time we think, oh, thank goodness, I can just move away from this kind of energy. They no longer have power over me. Um, will be the energy at play here. Again, if it's your own business here, Pisces, it could be a business partnership. It could well be a way to, you know, understand how to handle uh, somebody who you might have a contract with and how you kind of negotiate out of it kind of energy as well. Some kind of escape clause. You understand what I'm saying here. And even though it just feels, you know... Um, it, this this could well be, you know, somebody who, um, you know, give them an inch and they'll take a mile. You know, it could be that kind of energy that you're dealing with anyway. So, you know, because there's a lot of hard work here. So however that manifests for you, it could also be a, you know, a, a partnership. If you're in a partnership, it could well be how you kind of like remove yourself from that partnership. Uh, but the same energy applies here, Pisces. It looks like you want to kind of remove yourself from the influence of a party in some way here um, because intuitively you know it's time. And even though that there may well be a level of uncertainty, doubt, fear, uh, I think that you're doing it anyway. This thing definitely feels like taking action and walking through those fears and being absolutely resided in terms of how you're moving forward is what I'm seeing for you. And that really by September, you'll feel that weight light, lightening. You'll feel the load lightening. Um, everything becomes like easier and lighter. You get to lighten the load. Because there is that sense here. Something needing to end in order to find a balance, a, a happier balance moving forward. Because there is that sense of something needed to be let go of here because you weren't getting anywhere, you know. Um, and again, it can be quite a stuck energy, the, the Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. You weren't getting anywhere with whatever this person was. This is what I'm seeing here for you. Certainly, it feels more of a, a business thing. Uh, you know, the devil can also be, I sometimes describe the neighbor from hell. The devil can also be to do with, you know, uh, can be a love romantic, can be friendship, uh, can be family. But the devil is, uh, and the is master manipulative energy, very narcissistic. But they understand how to get what they want. And they're very capable and very popular and it's likely you you see you see through them where others don't and this is where you do have to be in your truth in some respect because others won't see I don't see you know this is where I definitely feel others won't see what you see apart from those people that care about you and again you could come up against roadblocks or might have come up against roadblocks before in terms of, of trying to, you know, uh, manage this kind of person. But I definitely feel here that something has to end here for something new to be manifested. For that sense of striking a happy balance, something has to be let go of. And the, light, the load is lightened, you know, with the Ten of Wands energy. That's what I'm seeing for you here, Pisces. Um, if we talk about love romance and somebody is talking about proving themselves to you and there's a message from the heart here, but you see through them now, you're seeing the truth or dealing with the truth even, some truth coming to light that is presenting you with some crossroads. Well, 
do I stay or go? You know, do I do I give this person, you know, uh, do I stay on the path that I'm on with this person or do I actually step into the unknown? Don't be afraid to do the right thing. Again, the King of Swords does the right thing for the King of Swords. Um, because when you see the truth, you can't get away from it, you know, and that will bring you to some kind of crossroads naturally in terms of taking your world in your hands and deciding how you want to shape it moving forward. There is that sense of, again, what next? I I feel this kind of, like I said, there is a master manipulator at play here, and I think you know it. You have history with this person, and you're uncertain if this person is going to change now. Intuitively, there's a level of uncertainty, fear, doubt, anxiety, emotions are at high, but intuitively, you know what you need to do. When we have the Knight of Wands here, regardless of what this person is saying, and there are going to be powerful conversations happening in August time and also July time as well, but powerful conversations happening, I mean, they've got a lot to say and they're generally quite silver-tongued, you know, just bear that in mind. This this Knight of Wands energy can be a player. Um, they can be somebody who messes you around. They can be... Um, Somebody who even comes in and out of your life. This can be an on-again, off-again relationship. But they always understand how to manipulate you, how to get under your skin. Sometimes how to make it even feel like it's your fault. You know, uh, sometimes a bit of a gaslighter energy. They are they are capable of, of turning things on their head. So even though, you know, uh, this is the power of the devil and the magician. They're very manipulative. And they can make us question ourselves. But I feel, I see you coming back to you with that moon energy and certainly there's a level of truth in that being true to your instinct in how you're managing with this knight of wands energy male or female uh, but this is somebody who messes you around unreliable uh, goes and does what they want to do and then kind of you know and they're exciting there's a lot of passion there's a lot of chemistry there's a lot of attraction it's good likely when you're with them and they're extremely popular but I think that you're seeing through a truth of this, you know, and it's making you question in terms of how you're moving forward. I see here, Pisces, that come, come September time, I think that you're listening to your intuition and not moving forward. Free will. But this is, this is, a, this is a, a block. This is a, a stuck energy, but... It's because applying yourself mentally, it's what your mind is telling you to do, not go down that path anymore. Free will. Because there is a level here in terms of understanding sometimes that things have to end, things have to be let go of in order to manifest something else, in order to uh, move forward and understand what kind of life ingredients you want to manifest moving forward in terms of relationships, what you're looking for, what you're not looking for, the type of relationship that you're looking for as well. This is what's at play here. And I think that you're, you're, you're lightening the load, you know, you're, you're releasing the weight. <laughs> uh, you're releasing the burden from yourself because you're not carrying it anymore. And this is what I'm seeing for you here, Pisces. Our mind is sometimes our, our our greatest protector, you know? And your mind is saying, don't go down that path. I'm not going down that path. It's, it's completely blocked off to me. I'm not going down that path anymore. I think that there is an ending at play. You're letting go of something because you just don't want to carry that experience anymore. It's built up over time and you're just you're just done with it. But you're understanding now what you are looking for and what you are wanting to manifest. In truth, the kind of ingredients, the right kind of ingredients that you're looking for in a relationship, the balanced kind, the kind of healthy kind that I don't think that you're experiencing right now in terms of love romance. This is somebody who is so coming in as playful a uh, page of cups is playful. Oh, I'll prove myself to you. We can work through our differences. 
you know, um, if I'm, I'm, I'm committed, you know, I'll prove that to you. But then there is that level here of you see the truth of this. And I definitely see here, Pisces, I think that you're wising up. There is a sense of wising up and listen to the reasoning, reasoning in your own head that this doesn't feel like it's for you, no matter what they say. I don't think, I think that you're falling for the, the magic act any longer. Um, I don't think that you're falling for the illusion that this person weaves uh, because everything that they say is for their own ends. You know, it's not for you. You know, that's the devil and the magician. It's a selfish energy. Narcissistic. So, Pisces, let's see what we have for you. <clears throat> I also want to say here, Pisces, the King of Swords, uh, let's just pull out a couple of the cards. The King of Swords can also be somebody who might be counselling you, can be a leader in authority. So that could be business. That could be somebody who might be, you know, advising you in some way as well. Could be a friend or family member. Um... You know, again, this sense with the page of if I were you, I would do this. They see through it. But again, this could be somebody who is communicating to you as well and presenting you with some kind of choice. And you need to decide what you continue to put time and energy into and what you don't. You know, in, in business terms, there is that feeling here of, of you might be making some choices and decisions here, Pisces, In like I said, I mean, this could well be to do with a, a boss or a company in some way, very narcissistic energy, uh, but it can also be a business partnership for some of you as well, that's coming through as well, and I think it's about whether it's working for you or not. The likelihood in terms of a business partnership would be they're not reliable, they don't pull the weight, you're doing everything. And you're just not doing that anymore. I think that there is, there is, I think that you're letting go of something here. I just don't think that people, this person is taking on the responsibilities that they likely should do. And I think that you're just cutting the dead weight. I mean, that's what it looks like here in manifesting something else that you're more than capable of. Yeah, just aligning to the path that you feel intuitively you need to move on to. Now we have the temple path. This is the energy deck, number 12. <clears throat> and the strength and courage to do just that. Strength is when we need to face something, face our own fears, doubts, insecurities, but also face external challenge and difficulties with a view to facing them, dealing with them and overcoming them. And actually bringing positive change. We have number 50. Does it take courage? Yes. It always takes courage to, to see the truth, to be honest with ourselves, to even follow, uh, to have big plans, you know, um, to even put big plans into action, you know, and clearly decide what, how our future is going to unfold. You're definitely making some kind of choices about your future in terms of how you're moving forward. Let's see what we have for you as a fortune card. What do we have for Pisces? Message for Pisces. We've got proposal number 27. A romantic or business opportunity is indicated. Yeah, this is what I'm, I'm saying. I definitely feel there's you and another party at play. We have flowers, number 11. Be generous, success and emotional fulfillment are yours, yeah. I'm gonna finish off by pulling you a guardian angel message. I'm gonna choose from this deck because they generally don't fall out easily. Let's see what we have for Pisces. 
angels, spirits, guides, message for Pisces to finish off this reading. Your card fell out. We've got the star, so we've got, <laughs> got the moon and the stars now. Which are both linked with blessings, but sometimes we just have to move forward in faith. This is what's at play here. Believe in yourself, you are a wonder of creation. Wash away all fear and discover you are a shining star. Allow all around you to just be. Let go of trying to control life, for the light of your soul will guide you always towards love. Remember stars are born through explosions of love. Love illuminates all things. Never forget you are truly a shining star. And there's a sense here, uh, Pisces, of, of wanting more. Wanting more than... And being very clear on that, you know, in terms of how you take your world in your hands and make choices and decisions about your life moving forward. And, and understanding here that it looks like... I think that you're dealing with a, a party here that is a very kind of self-absorbed party. And I definitely see here that you're surrendering and trusting. There is that sense of the unknown factor and not being afraid to step into the unknown. It, does it take courage and strength? Yes, it does. But is it the path that you, Spirit is guiding you to? Absolutely. Because I definitely feel that there is a, there's a certain energy here come end of August, September, where you're definitely deciding to not move forward any further on a particular route because you just want to be free of it. You want to be free of an experience with a view to manifesting something else, something new. And that's what I'm seeing for you here. Free will. And I do also want to say, when we have uh, a flower energy, and I don't always point this out, but I am, it's been brought to my attention, so I need to say it. You know, when the flower unfolds and you see a picture like that, you know, a flower represents us, it, when we see flowers, it can represent us having the opportunity to fulfill our maximum potential. But this is what I'm seeing here. There is something about a current experience in July where you're not feeling that sense of fulfilling your max, maximum potential. And that's why spirit is saying, dare to dream, dare to follow new dreams. You know, don't be afraid to let go of something and manifest something new. Um, and feel that sense of, of, of greater balance and, and um, a happier, a strike a happier balance moving forward or manifest even a new path for yourself. Um, because it feels like it's all to play for here. In business, there is definitely opportunity, uh, definitely coming in in August, and there's an opportunity to let go of something in response to that. You could see also there's an opportunity to let go of something on the relationship front or business front in, in terms of partnerships. Like I said, I think that there is some, I feel that you're dealing with another entity here, and it feels like a very self-absorbed energy. Uh, and I definitely see here by come September time, I, I think that you're not entertaining. There's, there's some, I think that you're not entertaining moving forward on a path anymore. You're very clear in terms of how you're moving forward, likely after ending something. And getting that sense of happier balance being very clear in terms of what you want to uh, manifest and the kind of life ingredients that you want, what you're looking for and what you're not looking for, likely. Pisces, that's what I have for you for the next three months. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful next three months. I will see you next time.